bet you weren't sure if this day would ever come, at least in the US, at least with AT&T branding. But it's here. Allen Iverson's been traded again. No, that's not what you're interested in, although he has been. This is what you're interested in. It's the BlackBerry Bold 9000. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Hot off the presses, long anticipated in the US on AT&T. It's the new BlackBerry, the Bold. We saw it at CTIA, you've seen it all over the place, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take it out of the box. Oh, look at that stuff falling out already. We're excited to introduce the high-performance BlackBerry Bold. HSDPA, 624 megahertz processor. GPS, Wi-Fi, look at all that. Inside, you get the user guide, you get the device itself, which we will get to in a moment. Oh, but it's so thin. I'm going to do the, I'm doing the unboxing this way so you can see my mug here. You get the uh, swivel holster clip, belt clip case. You get the BlackBerry Blade travel charger. You get the premium stereo headset, black. See right there? It says premium. And they're nice. They look like they're little in-the-ear earbuds, actually, which is kind of nice. And you get the data cable. And then you get your quick start guide. And your CD software, BlackBerry user tools. So here it is, the bold. And uh, that was fast. It fired up right quick. So here it is, the high res display and the new OS that we saw on the Pearl Flip. And it's got the three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the side. It's got the trackball. It's got uh, the card slot and your application switcher key here, your shortcut key. And you got your, uh, your faux crocodile back panel here, your camera with flash, video capability, video recording capability on the other side, rocker switch, hardware, uh, or rather soft key, and on the button here your battery panel comes off. Let's pop this off. And there's the internals. And, uh, you know, first blush, it's nice. It's uh, definitely handheld size. The keyboard feels good. Raised keys here, so it's easy to kind of differentiate between them. The touch typing, you know, tactile feedback for your, for your thumbs as you, as you type. Action feels pretty good. We're going to stop this one at just an unboxing because uh, we need to spend some time with this phone before getting into talking about how it works and doesn't work. But on first blush, I mean, the screen is really lovely. And um, we'll see if there's any media in here just to... Uh... So here you go. The sound is pretty good out of this. I mean, for a uh, you know, for the internal speakers, it's loud, and the stereo quality is actually pretty decent. That's um, that's kind of cool. Surprised by that. Another little clip for you. All right, so there you go. Unboxing the BlackBerry Bold 9000 for AT&T. It's the first 3G BlackBerry, the first HSDPA BlackBerry, I should say. And uh, available now, AT&T. 
very excited to spend some time with this one. We'll be back with a full review, much, much more on the website and in videos. Don't forget, Phone Dog TV, the premiere, Wednesday, November 12th, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, it's going to be crazy. I don't know all what it's going to be. It depends on what you guys want it to be. Live interactive chat. You can check out the phones. You can ask me questions. We'll do special guests. We'll do, you know, all kinds of stuff. But uh, phonedog.com slash TV for much, much more on that. And as I said, we'll have much, much more on the BlackBerry Bold 9000. I'm Noah from phonedog.com. See you later. All right, so just a little bonus here before we go. A little bit, a quick look at the, uh, the BlackBerry Bold browser. And this is one of the things that people are kind of excited about with the new Blackberries. They were promising a much improved browser. And so far, so good. This is the Phone Dog homepage, which um, up in here, most likely there's a flash based ad that's not showing up because uh, our banner ads lately have been flash based. But otherwise, this is a really nice job of rendering the site. Uh, pretty quick over the 3G, the AT&T 3G. We'll load up another page here for you. Here, we zoomed in. And uh, we'll load up. I think I'm going to go back to doing the overhead camera unboxings because uh, a little bit easier to do. So you can see I've got 3G. I'm testing this out in uh, Berkeley, California. The San Francisco area, I know, uh, a lot of AT&T customers I know, iPhone 3G owners especially, have been unhappy with the 3G data speeds as of late. And uh, yeah, you know, this is taking a little bit of time. This phone does have Wi-Fi, but I'm, I'm using this on 3G right now. And yeah, it's a little bit pokey. Try it out on Wi-Fi. We'll do some head-to-head -head tests, that kind of thing. But the browser itself looks really nice. I wonder if this could wind up being the one, the one that I switched to. I mean, on paper, it's got everything I want. It's got a, a real HTML browser. It's got a QWERTY keyboard. It's pretty slim. It's got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. It's got a camera with flash. You know, it's on paper, it's everything that I want. And uh, you can see the screen is great, the image quality, and the, uh, the HTML. Rendering engine looks good. A little pokey though. We'll have to test it some more. It's not going to show the flash content. It's not going to show the actual video here. But uh, we zoom in. You know, that looks pretty good. So there you go. First look at the browser on the Bold, BlackBerry Bold 9000 from RIM and AT&T. Noah from PhoneDog.com for real this time. See you later.